guys, it's May May, and today we're doing some envelope um, hacks, maybe? Not really hacks, but just a couple of ways to make envelopes. I think I'm going to show you three different ways, and I'm using this card. The reason I chose this card is because it has a little bit of dimension because it is a shaker card, and that's a, a pretty good, you know, I doubled this foam. So this is a pretty good size card, and I want to show you how to be able to use something like this in your um, envelopes. Now, you can use the same dimension I'm giving you today for a flat envelope. It'll work just the same. There may be a little bit of wiggle room, but not too bad. Okay, let's get started. The first one I want to show you is probably the one that's going to take moderately the most work, we'll say. Okay, so I have a piece of paper here, and I've cut it down to 6 and 3 fourths by 10. Okay, and this one I'm going to use my scoreboard for. Now, this is actual paper. This is like copy paper, okay? You may or may not want to use that for your envelopes. You might want to use a pattern paper. You can pretty much do whatever you want to. It's your envelope, so play and have fun. So you're going to do some scoring. Your first score mark on the six and three-quarter length side is going to be half an inch. Okay, so I'm just going to, and remember, this is just um, computer paper, so I'm not going to do too much pressing because I don't want to rip the paper, okay? So the first score mark is half an inch. The next is six and a quarter. Again, this is copy paper, so you can't use this the same as you do cardstock. You have to be a little more gentle with it. So now I have it turned to where the 10 inch side is in the scoreboard, okay? And we're gonna score the first mark at two inches. And now our next one is six and a half. I'm trying to be so careful not to tear this paper. So here's what we've got, okay? Now then, let's do some trimming. Now you can do this with any pair of scissors you want. I'm just going to use my little fussy cutters because they just work easy in these kind of places. We're going to cut off a little bit of paper that we don't need. The first one is our inside score line, that half an inch in, to our first score. Okay, so when I get done cutting these, I'll lay it down and you'll be able to see it. So we're going to go to this middle score here and then our first score line here. It's really not very many score lines, so once you see this all done, this will be super easy to mimic or duplicate. All right, and we're going to do the same thing at the top. That half inch score line down to the first one, and then snip that away. All right, and the same thing here. And here. And just pull that away. So now I'm going to sit it down. Okay, so here's what you're looking at. This is your top flap. This is the um, fold over for the envelope and this is what's going to close the edges. Now there's a couple of things I like to do to make this close a little bit better and I bet you know what it is. It is um, snipping these edges on an angle. Just these little pieces here. It just helps to take some of the bulk out when we fold this envelope. Alright, so now we can fold it. I'm going to start with the sides. I'm going to fold those in just like this. And I'm going to fold this side in, like so. Okay, now I'm going to fold the bottom up. And this, this is when you want to kind of line everything up right here and make sure everything is nice and even. Now we're just going to use some adhesive. And here's what I do. Did you notice that these flaps are a little longer than this piece? That's good. That's what we want. So we want to put our adhesive on this piece so that we don't get adhesive where we don't need it. I'm just going to roll this down the bottom here. Okay, and then I'm just going to close this down. Just like that. Now the top portion folds down as well. We just want to line that up nice and neat. And this gives you a really nice, clean, neat envelope. Let's put this card in. Now this card has that dimension, so I have to fiddle with it a little bit because see how my dimensional piece is kind of in the middle? I'm just going to lift this up and then slide it in. So this happens, but the good thing is when the person gets the card, they won't have to struggle because they're just removing the card. So you see how much um, dimension I got in there? That's a lot. Then this guy folds down, seal it shut, and you have a nice, clean envelope. I love that one. That one's super easy to do. All right, so now let's work on another one. Now this one is probably not for you guys that like precision and measurement and things like that. This is kind of an eyeballer, okay? This piece of paper is 8 and 1 8 by 8 and 1 8. And where did I get that measurement from? From my envelope punch board. I just looked to see what size they used to make an A2 size card, and that's what they did. Now, I'm going to turn this on the diagonal, okay, or diamond. <laughs> now that I've got it turned, all right, it's probably not straight in the screen. It doesn't feel straight in the screen. It does for me. I'm going to place my card in the center, and I'm going to eyeball 
the center. You know I like to eyeball things, and this is how I'm going to do it. This feels good to me, okay? Now then, I'm going to take this, hold in the card in place, I'm going to take this bottom flap and fold it up slightly loosely. I don't want it to be super tight, just like that. Okay, so my card's in there. Now I'm going to go to the side, and I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to fold it over again, not making it so snug on that envelope, I mean on that card, just, just enough. You'll know where to fold it. You can feel it when you're doing it. And I'm going to fold this one over just enough. Just like that. Then I'm going to come to the top. I'm going to go ahead and fold this one down while we're here. And then we're going to do a little bit of adjusting. All right. So, I know this is going to fit my card, okay? Now I'm going to take my scissors, and everywhere I made these little fold over cross lines, I'm going to cut these away. Now when I do this, you're going to notice this looks a lot like the punch board envelope. It's just with the punch board, it does all this for you. But if you don't have a punch board, just do this. Now when I lay this down, I'll show you. Doesn't that look a lot like what we get from the punch board? I think it does. You can see that. All right. Now then, we're just going to fold these flaps in. And I'm going to do some creasing this time. I'm going to get my adhesive. I'm going to roll this down here. Okay. Fold this one in. Roll that adhesive down. Just like that. And then fold this guy over. Now, you know I don't love this little flap right here. And I get that on the envelope punch board too. So, I'm just going to take my scissors. Place it in. Cut that away to make that flat because I don't love that piece. Now then, we can put our card in. Just like that. Okay? And then you fold this over and you have a nice envelope. Um, this is, for me, the easiest cheater way to do it that I have found. And this is for the A2 size card. Now, while we're here, I'm going to look on my envelope punch board real quick and tell you if you're making a 5x7 card, since that's pretty common, you'd start with a 9.5 by 9.5 piece of paper. So that way, you got both of those numbers for you. And you'll be ready to make your own envelopes that way. Let's do one more idea. Now, this is the envelope we made earlier, but I want you to pretend that it's a pre-made envelope because I'm actually out of pre-made envelopes. <laughs> but if you received a card or anything in the mail that had an envelope, all you have to do is open this dude up and open those edges of whatever envelope you've got. It doesn't have to be like this. It can be any envelope you want to mimic, okay? Then what you do, stretch that dude out. Get yourself a piece of cardstock, any old kind of cardstock. Just do use cardstock. So here's a piece of green cardstock. I stuck this down to the table. <laughs> now lay that template out. See, you're making a template is what we're doing. Lay it out on a piece of paper. And I like to put it to the edges so I can utilize all of that. Okay. Then you're going to trace this. Now remember, this is something that you received in the mail. This is an envelope that you've opened up, so it may not be shaped like this one. But you're going to trace this out. You know what size card it fits because you know what was in it. And you can do this with a store-bought store envelope. Let's say you buy a pack of envelopes, but you don't want to buy any more. Just open them up and trace them. So we have our tracing on. Now, the other thing we want to do while we have it here is I'm going to fold this top portion back just like so. And I'm going to do a trace mark here. I'll flip this over. I'm going to fold this piece back. If I can get a hold of it. Because I do have adhesive on that from where we made the envelope the first time. Alright, I'm going to fold this piece back and I'm going to do a trace mark here. Just like that. Alright, so there is the start of our template. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Notice I didn't fold these pieces right here on the edges. I did that on purpose. I don't want to fold these because if I do, it'll kind of um, weaken the edges of my template. So I want to keep them sturdy. But I'll show you once we get to the assembly of this envelope how to make that work. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to create something right here that lets me know that this is where I need to score my um, envelope. So I'm going to take my ruler and my X-Acto knife. Don't worry, you can do this part. Take your X-Acto knife. I'm going to come in about half an inch on either side. And I'm just going to slice. I'm 
just like that, okay? And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. Doesn't have to be perfect, just a nice line on that line to show you where to score. Now I've got those little slices. I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to come right beside it and slice out another little bit of it. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Just cut this away. So you see I've made that kind of um, little gap in the middle here. It's not perfectly clean and neat, but it's just a template. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing on this end. Cut another little slice right next to that one. Now this may seem like it's taking a lot of time, and it's not the fastest thing, but once you build this template, it's built, and you have it, and you don't have to do it again. Okay, so you can see this. You can see our two lines, and you can see all of our template. Now let's make one. So we created this template. We're going to put this onto our paper. If you have chipboard, you could make these out of chipboard too. That would work great. All right, so I'm going to line it up on my paper. I'm going to trace it all out. And while I've got it here, I just traced it. While I've got it here, I'm going to take one of my score tools. I'm just going to run it into that crease, just like that, and then into this crease. Bone folder, score tool, whatever you got, just to make your mark. Now I'm going to cut it. So there you go. We have it all cut out from our template. Now the other thing you might want to do is make sure you write on here A2 template so you'll know what it is and then put that with your other templates and this guy's ready to fold. Now if you did not want to do those cut slices and do the scores right there, check this out. If you take your ruler and line it up from this edge to this edge, you can do the same thing. Just fold it like this and you don't even have to worry about making the score marks in your template. Just another easy idea. So pick the way you want to do it. Put the lines into your template like I did with the X-Acto knife or just do this. Line this up on the edge. Use your ruler as your score. Do the same thing over here. And now we are ready to adhere and fold this guy down. Now the best part about this one is you've got that template to last you forever. You've made a template. It's something you can use over and over again and you won't have to do this every single time you make. You won't have to make that template every time you've already got it. So there you go. Another quick way of doing that. So we made that one. We made this one and I hope that helps you guys. I've had a lot of questions lately about making envelopes without the envelope punch board. This is just some of my ideas or the ways I've always done it. My big thing is I've always um, traced other things like that and make a template because I love to have a template. All right, guys, let me know if that helped you out. If you have some tips and tricks for making envelopes, leave, the, leave them below and let us know in the comments. Tell us what you do to make an envelope. I appreciate you watching today. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.